Once upon a time, in a land where the mountains touched the sky and rivers sang melodious tunes, there lived a young boy named Toby. Toby was an imaginative and resourceful child who loved inventing things. He spent his days tinkering with gadgets, creating marvelous contraptions out of simple items. One sunny afternoon, as Toby was exploring the attic of his house, he found an old, dusty chest. With great effort, he pried it open and discovered a collection of ancient maps, mysterious tools, and a peculiar-looking compass that glowed faintly. Intrigued, Toby decided to show his find to his grandfather, who was known for his incredible stories of adventure and magic. Toby's grandfather took one look at the compass and his eyes widened with recognition. This, he said, is the compass of wishes. It belonged to a legendary explorer who could find the most magical places in the world. They say it can lead you to whatever your heart desires most. With a spark of excitement, Toby asked, can we use it, Grandpa? His grandfather nodded. But remember, Toby, the compass will only work if your wish is pure and true. That night, as Toby lay in bed, he thought about what he truly wished for. He loved his village dearly but knew it had been struggling with a long drought that made it hard for the crops to grow and the animals to find water. Toby's wish became clear, he wanted to find a way to bring water back to his village. The next morning, with the glowing compass in hand, Toby set off on his adventure. The compass needle pointed east, and Toby followed it through forests, over hills, and across valley. Along the way, he encountered various animals in need of help, a bird with a broken wing, a fox stuck in a trap, and a family of rabbits looking for food. Toby used his clever inventions to assist each one, gaining their friendship and gratitude. After several days of traveling, the compass led Toby to the foot of a towering mountain. At the base of the mountain was a large, intricately carved door. As Toby approached, the door swung open, revealing a tunnel that glowed with a soft blue light. He stepped inside, feeling both nervous and excited. The tunnel led to a magnificent underground cavern filled with sparkling crystals and a serene, crystal clear lake. In the center of the lake, an ancient water spirit named Aquara floated gracefully. She had long, flowing hair that shimmered like water and eyes as deep as the ocean. Welcome, young traveler, Aquara said in a soothing voice. I am the guardian of the waters. I know of your wish to help your village. Toby bowed respectfully. Yes, great spirit. Our village is suffering from drought. I seek your help to bring water back to our land. Aquara smiled kindly. Your heart is pure, and your wish is noble. I will grant you the water crystal, which has the power to create a never-ending source of water. Use it wisely. With a wave of her hand, a glowing crystal emerged from the lake and floated into Toby's hands. He thanked Aquara and promised to use the crystal to help his village. Toby made his way back home, guided once again by the compass. When he arrived, he placed the water crystal in the dry riverbed that ran through the village. The crystal began to glow brightly, and within moments, water bubbled up from the ground, filling the riverbed with fresh, clear water. The villagers rejoiced, their crops began to flourish, and the animals found water to drink. Toby's invention and the water crystal had saved the village from the drought. Everyone praised Toby for his bravery, kindness, and ingenuity. From that day on, the village thrived, and Toby continued to invent wonderful gadgets to help his community. The story of Toby's adventure with the compass of wishes and the water crystal was passed down through generations, reminding everyone of the power of a pure heart and a noble wish. And so, in the land where the mountains touched the sky and rivers sang melodious tunes, Toby's legacy lived on, inspiring countless others to use their creativity and kindness to make the world a better place.